So this is my e-bike battery. It is a 6P, no, 6S 10P battery. No, I got that backwards, sorry. It's 10S 6P for a, you know, 42 volt uh, battery. And um, I did a bad, I did a, I did a video on making this battery um, and I did a video on the e-bike conversion, but you know, this is a soldered battery and the battery works great. Um, but I, ha I have broken a couple fuses with it bouncing around on the e-bike and um, I have done a couple repairs on it. And I just think I'm probably going to convert it to a, you know, I'm probably going to spot weld this battery. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to convert this to a spot welded battery from a soldered battery. Again, I do like soldered batteries for things like power walls. I like the fusing. Um, um, I think it's a safe way of building batteries, having those individual fuses. But on something like an e-bike where you have a higher power draw, probably spot welding is the way to go right now. Um, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna use my you know my PCB spot welder for this. And um, you know I will um, um, I, you know I will eventually the, the leads will get soldered to the nickel, but for all the battery connections I'm gonna use a spot welder. So let me open up this battery and uh, we'll inspect the fuses, just see what condition the battery is in, and then we'll go about the process of converting this. And I'll have to clean this solder off the cells, which will be a little bit of a pain, but um, I'll clean the cells, probably hit them with a Dremel just to smooth out the top, and then I'll use the spot welder and we'll do this thing. Got to be careful of any fuse wires, uh, no, not fuse wires, balance wires. There are balance wires on this pack, so trying. I think I'm going to do it on the. I'm trying to cut the side that I don't think has balance wires, which that is this side, so that's good. Okay, there we go. These are cardboard protectors for the fuse wires since you do have all these individual little fuses you want a little bit of protection on something like an e-bike. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, pull this Kapton tape off. battery over check the other side all right let's let me do a quick inspection of the fuse wires just to see how everything looks so far so good on this side let's go to this side Fuse wires appear to be intact, so that's good. So this battery is fine, um, but I am going to do the conversion. I am going to, um, and I'm probably going to do it one. I think I'll do it one section at a time. Um, the you know the reason is I, I you know I don't I want to keep track of all these balance wires and everything like that right now, and and um, everything's already sort of laid out, so I'll probably just. Convert this section, convert this section, convert this section. I can put the balance wires back right back on as I go. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll do one or two sections and then probably time lapse the rest as I convert the um, convert the battery. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a hot soldering iron here and let's remove this balance lead here. 
And let's get a pair of pliers and some snips. Let's remove the fuse wires. Okay. Okay, fuse wires are removed. And uh, yeah, I wonder if I should try solder sack some of the solder. Here's my solder sucker. Let's see if we can solder, uh, you know, solder sack some of the solder here. Would help if I loaded it. It didn't do too much. All right, let me put down the soldering iron. What I am going to do is run a Dremel over the top of the. Um, I'm going to run a Dremel, so headphone users be warned. I am going to run a Dremel and clean these head the tops up a little bit. Okay. Okay, that is, uh, yeah, that cleaned up nicely. Uh, one other thing is, I think I'm gonna try and keep the bus bar. Um, the reason is, A, I do need a place to attach my, um, you know, attach my wire, and that's already set up here. So, um, I will likely, um, I will likely keep this bus bar, uh, especially on the positive and negative. Um, I'll likely keep this bus bar. What I will do is I will put a piece of nickel. Um, well, there's actually different ways I could do it. I actually could do nickel horizontally just like this and then put a blob of solder so that they all connect up. Yeah, that would be an interesting way of doing it. Only do nickel like this and then put a blob of solder connecting the nickel to the bus bar. Um, that would be an interesting way of doing it. I will probably, I'll probably still do some horizontal and then I will feed this under if I can get it to fit. Um, that's actually a good question. Can I get this to fit under here? It's a bit tight. Yeah, I don't know if I can actually get this to feed under, but I, like I said, I do want to try and, and keep this bus bar. Um, just because it's a, again, the wire's already attached and it's already in place and, and um, eventually you are gonna have to attach the wires to, you're gonna have a way, have to have a way of attaching your, your, your 12 gauge to the, to the um, nickel anyway. So why not just use this bus bar system that's already here? Um, that, yeah, that's, um, it's a bit, bit tight. I wonder if the thinner, I wonder if the five mil will fit under. I wonder if some 5 mil will fit under there. Let me get some 5 mil. Okay, well the 5 mil fits pretty, yeah, pretty easily under there. And I can probably squeeze it under this last one too. So. I might use five mil across all three and then with, with solder onto here as a way of joining these. So 
Um, I guess let's uh, let's begin and see how this thing goes, and we'll, we'll maybe we'll adjust the system as we go as we learn things. So, first thing is to cut a piece of of nickel. There's two pieces of this. Okay. That'll work like that. That'll work like that. Let's turn on the spot welder. Okay, spot welder is on. Let's do our first spot weld. Make sure that it is spot welding, that's pretty good. Okay, that's that one on. Hmm. Come on, spot welder, there we go. Okay, that is spot welded. Now let me, I just want to pull on a little bit and just double check. You know, getting this metal, getting this nickel tab up is always a trick. Let's get it. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, that's, that is spot welded. Okay, that's great. Now, I think we will use some of the thinnest stuff to go underneath. Um, fidgety here Ooh. and see that's why you I'm glad I caught that on um, video you see we just short-circuited this battery why because this is a positive this is a negative and we short-circuited through it um, and interestingly we may have it'd be interesting to see if we blew the the fuses on the underside we did we did can you see that we blew the fuses that is honestly why I love fuses because I do dumb stuff. Um, you know, I do make mistakes and that is why I love fuses. That's why, you know, on a super big power wall battery, I, I'm not convinced that I want to do spot welding just because, you know, I don't trust myself to not make dumb mistakes. So, what we will do is we will stick some Kapton down on the area we're not working and then we will continue to slide this nickel through like we're supposed to. Let me get this Dremel out of the way, get some of this other junk out of the way. Give myself some more room here. Okay. Okay, that's good. Let's cut another piece of this thinner stuff.
bit of a tight squeeze here on this last one. Can I wedge it up slightly? Let me get a small flat head and see if I can wedge this up. But again, let me not try not to short anything here. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we are talking. Okay, so we'll do it like that and then I think I'll put a blob of solder um, to join that onto the, the bus bar. We'll see how that goes. But all right, let's make these spot welds. Okay, I'm pretty happy with. Okay, I am pretty happy with that um, crisscross pattern there. That is nicely spot welded. I don't think that that's coming off. Let me try and lift that with a nail. Nope, that is on there. Okay, great. Now let's see if we can get solder onto the um, onto the bus bar as a way to make the connection with the bus bar. I think that worked just fine. I am happy with that. So let me lift that up so you can see. Um, you can see, yeah, we got nice, uh, nice solder bridges onto the bus bar, and then the nickel is uh, pretty nicely, um, pretty nicely soldered. And um, you know, this this should be, this is actually, this should be enough nickel to carry the current rating that we need to carry. Now, I'm. I, it's not necessary to go through the bus bar on these alternative batteries because I don't, I can just use the nickel across. I was doing this just as a way to join on the main power positive and the main negative. So um, I think I'll carry on with the battery. Um, and then, oh, and I, I do need to remember to reattach the balance lead. Let's remember to put that back, yeah? Okay, that is attached. Um, so for the rest of it, I can just use nickel without the um, without the uh, um, without the bus bars. So I'll probably rip the bus bars off there, join these with nickel, and uh, go from there. And I guess I'll probably just time lapse you, and we'll go from and you can watch in time lapse.
Okay, well I have finished the first side. Um, everything is spot welded. Just for fun, I did switch back to the needles. And I like the needles because I can um, put the spot welds all over the place. Since I have to do multiple spot welders, uh, spot welds, when you use the pen, the needles are always sort of a consistent distance apart and you kind of run out of places to put your spot welds. So I, in many ways, I, you know, the needles have its place as well. This gives me more flexibility, close, far, gives me some flexibility when I have to do multiple spot welds. But overall, I'm, I'm quite happy with everything. Um, you know, all the spot welds seem to have held quite well. Um, um, and uh, yeah, I've reattached all the balance wires with a bit of solder. I did, the, I did the negative here the same way as the positive where there's some solder bridges back onto the nickel. Um, so overall, I'm, I'm happy with uh, how it turned out and uh, I'll flip the battery over and work on the other side and, and uh, go from there. Okay, I finished uh, spot welding the battery. You can uh, see that the uh, the spot welds all turned out pretty nicely. Um, yeah, it, it went well. Um, it was a bit slower than I thought, partly because I had to use multiple spot welds and partly because I had to clean the solder off the batteries first, which was a bit of a pain. But yeah, the battery's finished. All the, all the um, balance leads are reattached. I'm gonna throw on a little Kapton tape on the top just to protect the balance leads. And then, um, and then we will heat shrink the uh, heat shrink the pack and go from there. Okay, so we have capped on tape on both sides. This. Um, this thing is starting to starting to fall off a little bit. I'm gonna tape this on. I had hot glued it on, but it's it's coming off. So let me throw a little tape on before I do the heat shrink. Okay, that's heat shrink. I also will put a little piece of cardboard. Again, this is going in an e-bike, and um, will be. Um, you know, we'll be shooken about a bit, so a little piece of cardboard will never hurt for some extra 
extra insulation. Okay, sorry about that, the camera died, but okay, we, um, we have the, uh, okay, I put a piece of cardboard on just to protect the sides. Let's slide the, let's slide this into some heat shrink. Okay, now this is obviously way too, way too big, but this does actually shrink down quite a lot. And will work. Um, it just takes a bit of, uh, you just gotta be a little careful with the heat to, to get it going initially. Um, There you go. All right, so this is um, pretty nicely heat shrunk. I'm gonna push this down while it cools so that it um, will form this shape here. It's almost cool. All right, there we go. Actually, that yeah, that turned out nicely. So the battery's assembled. Let's put a voltmeter on it. Should be at about 38 volts. That's, um, I'd been doing a bit of bike riding before when I, before I took, decided to rebuild the pack, so. I'd already taken some voltage out of the pack. Let's check the voltmeter here. Uh, 38 volts, perfect. Okay, so we're at 38 volts, exactly where we need to be. And um, yeah, I think the pack's finished. Um, I will give it a ride tomorrow and see how this, see how this pack uh, works out. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I think the spot welds are gonna do nicely and I'll, I'm a little less worried about uh, the, well, you know, the uh, spot welds breaking um, because of the vibration of the e-bike. So anyways, yeah, that pack is finished. Let's plug it for charge and there we go. It'll charge up and we'll put it in the bike and go for a ride.